Hello everybody, and welcome to Mel the Bombshell. Today's video is going to be another review video. This time the game is going to be a smaller, lesser known title that I've recently picked up and played. The game I am talking about is Sunblaze. I actually got it in a game bundle and just haven't taken the time to play through it yet. But now that I've played the game, I feel like it's time that I give you all a review. I'm going to start out with some general background on Sunblaze. This game was released on June 3rd, 2021. This game was developed by Games From Earth and published by Bonus Stage Publishing. Sunblaze is available on the Nintendo Switch, PC, and Mac systems. Now on to the gameplay of Sunblaze. This game is an indie platformer slash adventure game. In some plays, you play as a girl named Josie who's trying to be a superhero like her father. So, you go through this superhero simulation chamber that your father has created. This is like a virtual platforming world where you learn to become a superhero. In the game, you end up getting separated from your father and spend much of the game trying to find your way back to be reunited with your father. The story has six different chapters, each with dozens of challenging levels for you to complete and struggle your way through. <laughs> Sunblaze features a pixel art retro 2D style of graphics that I found to be really enjoyable to look at. Sunblaze is a shorter title with an estimated five hours of gameplay. Sunblaze features challenging and fun platforming levels with unique obstacles for you to overcome. Each different chapter in the game has its own unique look that adds diversity as you go through the story. As you play through each level, you'll find yourself dying over and over again as you try to find and make your way through these challenging but fun levels. For those of you that struggle with platforming games like I do, there are plenty of accessibility options offered in the menu that make the game a bit easier and more approachable to all different player levels. This way everybody gets a chance to enjoy the story and enjoy the game without everything depending on skill alone. There is also a Zen mode available. The Zen mode gives you the complete story of the game, but in a condensed manner with less levels and less difficulty. I love the accessibility options offered. I like to customize these options so that I'm still able to play through the story with challenge while also not being overwhelmed and super aggravated by the difficulty. I don't feel as much like a failure because I'm able to customize the game to fit my ability and I find myself as I progress through the story and as I get further into the game and play more, I find myself being better and better and improving my skills at platforming games in general. So these accessibility options really allow players to progress themselves as gamers and it makes it to where I feel like I can take some of the options away. It makes me better suited to complete platforming levels that are more challenging. I'm sure that by the end of this game, I'll be able to go back through and choose less and less accessibility options since I'm developing my skill more and more. I feel that Sunblaze also offers plenty of replayability. There are these extra cubes that you can collect in certain levels of Sunblaze. That way if you miss the cube the first time around, you can go back and replay that level and get the cube so that you can complete the collection. Additionally, like I mentioned earlier, all the accessibility options allow for player improvement and invite players to replay the game at a harder difficulty as they sharpen their 2D platforming skills. Overall, I would give this game for a 2D platformer, in my opinion, a 10 out of 10. Personally, I find myself not playing through 2D platformers even though I enjoy them, just because I'm bad at them. However, Sunblaze gives me the opportunity to improve my skills with these accessibility options that I haven't found in other 2D platforming games that I've played. The storyline of Sunblaze is also super funny and engaging, and the graphics look amazing. Thus, in my eyes, Sunblaze is a 10 out of 10 for a 2D platformer. Another bonus of Sunblaze is that it's a super affordable game that can be enjoyed by anybody. I really recommend this game for people who want to like or want to play 2D platformers, 
but struggle with them, as well as people who are super good at 2D platformers. I think that this would be a pretty good game to speed run through and really test your skills in 2D platforming. I want to give a shout out to the developers of Sunblaze. This is a really underrated and super enjoyable game that I feel like everyone should have in their 2D platforming collection. Anyway, I hope that you all have a wonderful day. Please leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it at all. And let me know in the comments below any of your thoughts on Sunblaze. If you would like to see more of my review videos, click on the playlist at the end of this video. I hope that you all have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you again soon. Make sure that you subscribe. Bye!